Aloha Aries, this is Stephanie with The Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your April 2021. Oh my gosh, it's April already. Happy birthday, Aries. This is your t season. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, this is your general reading. We're going to take some Hawaiian salt first to clear the space and the energy. Just take a bite of that. Clears the energy and gives you your minerals. So a couple announcements to make, um, please do like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand. The other thing is I am doing a giveaway for the um, month of April, so at the end of April. And how you can enter um, and be considered for the giveaway is to be a subscriber, to like and share um, this video. Okay, and this is the Light Seer's Tarot. So I'll be giving away one of these and I will sign that as well. Love this tarot deck. It's really fabulous. Um, so for this month, I'll be giving away this, um, this size. So this is the full size tarot. Um, and it's by Chris Ann. Really, really fabulous. I'll be using it in this reading. So that interest you just um, subscribe and like and share also leave me a comment as well that's gonna help um, and say done <laughs> so, all right let's get to it for Aries okay so already my energy's a little bit scattered not sure where to start so we're gonna kind of center ourselves so right now it may be that um, life seems a little bit chaotic areas that might just because there's a lot of movement due to it being your um your season uh for your sun cycle to come back around here so that is uh where you might have been stuck before april is going to bring movement for you okay for aries and we'll get one of these as well perfect beautiful <laughs> So your Keepers of the Light card, Aries, um, and this is your general energy and the guardian energy is the Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back, okay? It's really beautiful here. And look, um, we have the cup in the middle with the palms there. So there's healing that's occurring um, for you. As well as, I feel like, <clears throat> Aries, your cup is filling up, your cup of love, okay? Um, whether that be love and romance relationships or whether that be um, just, I feel like there's just more love happening in your life. There's more um, that you're enjoying. There's more that you are um, just filling back up. I feel like you've been depleted for some time, like... Um, not much passion for what you do or those around you and now it's like um this energy is changing to expect miracles aries so we have the gem as well this is the archetype that is moving through you in the month of april okay you're really coming into feeling into being that gem okay being that that something different that something beautiful Okay, look at all those colors there that is in the gym. That you have gone through the fire in order to be um, made into something quite beautiful. Okay, so what Spirit's saying is that, that there is, um, I feel like you have recently ended a cycle of things that were rather harsh um, in your energy field. And they're saying that you're coming back into yourself you're coming back into um prosperity you're coming back into love you're coming back into the knowledge of yourself i feel like aries for a little while you've either been dealing with um for some of you i feel like it is health issues for others i feel like you left a, a, a situation that was not appropriate for you, whether that be in love and romance or a job, and you're coming back into that sense of yourself now, okay? Past, present. Let's just get the cards on the table here. All right, perfect, and future. Okay, you want these? 
Yeah, in the past, I feel like, because um, we have the Magician Reverse and the Fool Reverse, and so I feel like you guys were in a situation where um, you didn't quite take the leap of faith, okay? You may have been dealing with someone or a situation where the Magician Reverse is someone who's sneaky and manipulative. Upright, it's someone who is... Um, manifesting is super magic is right side up I feel like this is another energy not yours okay so I feel like there was someone who was rather sneaky manipulative so they may have been manifesting you but manifesting you in a in a way to um, better themselves but not necessarily better um, your life okay and so um, for those of you where it was a, a situation with love and romance I feel like they didn't take the leap of faith. I feel like they used um, you and then they didn't take the leap of faith. They didn't leap forward into any kind of commitment. Um, for job, I feel like uh, I feel like for those of you who recently have just left a job, I feel like basically they just took advantage of you. I feel like that this was a time where um, where things just really weren't, what's the word spirit? They're saying jiving. <laughs> I don't use that word, but they just weren't jiving. You know, it's like you felt unappreciated. Um, some of you may have lost the job due to COVID, but I just feel like, like in some ways, I feel like you feel like your magic's been sort of upside down. So you've been in need of a miracle. It's like, okay, um, almost like this stuck sort of stagnant energy. And what they're saying is that um, that time is finished. Okay. Like you needed to go through this in order to learn a soul lesson. Um, for those of you where your health has been a little bit um, under the wire, it's kind of like, um, it's almost like the energy system is sort of upside down, or it was, you know. And so um, what they're saying is to expect miracles because you really are that gem, okay. So what happened in the past is the past. Um, what's happening right now, perfect. And then right now you're kind of weighing the pros and cons. So you have some options available to you. Okay. They're saying to expect miracles. So you have choices where you feel like uh, some of you might feel like you're stuck or you have just made a move. Um, this is balancing work life, work love. This is balancing your own emotions. This is balancing um, yourself. Okay. And your energy. But it is because you're looking at... Um, things in a new way. Okay. We have queen of wands. You're showing up in the now as the queen of wands. So spirit's saying that, um, whether you're male or female matters, not the queen of wands is quite attractive, um, both inside and out complete magic. Look at that energy. Okay. Got the wand there, got the magic in the hand. So what spirit's saying, got the familiar there. Okay. And what spirit's saying is that this fire inside of you, you are a fire sign. So queen of wands is the representation of Aries Leo Sag. Okay. And so the queen of wands is saying you are entering back into your power. So where you might have felt a little bit out of balance in the recent past, you're coming back into your power and you're looking quite magnetic. Okay. You're looking very, very magnetic. Um, very attractive. So for those of you in the month of April who are wanting to attract a new job, you're going to be attractive to that job. Okay. Um, not you're attracted to it. They're attracted to you. Okay. Um, same thing for love romance, same thing with your health. I feel like with this, it's like your, um, internal energy is is starting to your cheese starting to really flow again okay so they're saying to expect miracles because i feel like in the now you're not quite seeing how remarkable you are but by the end of april you're really going to be back in your power and you're going to see how absolutely remarkable you are because the holy spirit's working through you and so though you may not see that spirit aries other people do okay so for those of you looking for a new job new love, etc. I'm saying that's coming in because your next card is the Knight of Cups. 
Knight of Cups is an offer from the heart. This is a knight in shining armor. This is someone who's going to come in on the white horse and give you a true cup of love, okay? Um, he also has little wings on his shoes, which is like um, Cupid and um, Mercury, I think, had that as well, right? That's the messenger god. Um, so this is a message is on the way. Okay, so this does not have to be love romance, but those of you who are looking for love romance, um, there is someone watching you now, okay? Even though you may not know that they're watching you, they're watching you because they want to give their cup of love to you. They're seeing you in your magic, even though you may not be seeing you in your magic, okay? Um, they're seeing you as being in your power and just super magnetic. For those of you looking for a job, same thing. This job, there's an offer coming in, okay? The Knight of Cups is saying an offer, and it's an offer that you're really going to love. And the next card is the world, okay? Which tells me that a cycle's ending. So this offer is going to help end the um, previous cycle, okay? The cycle where you felt like your magic was um, not quite in order. They're saying that now you're going to really be seeing this new cycle opening up. So when the world comes in upright, it's saying that one cycle is closing and another's opening. And it, you can see, expect miracles. You have all the platonic solids here, okay? So it's like, um, basically, you are the magician and the magic of your own world. You are your own creator, okay? So this is you in the now. So you're weighing the pros and cons. You may not have gotten this offer yet, um, or some of you might have recently got this offer, okay? But it is going to be good. Um, it is going to be something that uh, is really good for your heart. It's a very change in the energy that you had before. This is a place where the people, um, if it's a job, this is a place where the people are really going to treasure you, okay? This is a place where... Um, uh, they're like you're going to love it and they're going to appreciate you I feel like in the past you weren't appreciated same if it's love romance I also feel like for some of you if you've just entered into something by the end of April um, like there's a real offer of love or commitment um, for those of you that are already starting a relationship okay or it's moving to the next level um, but someone is already looking at you Aries and they are already seeing your magic and they're going to come forward and communicate that with you because that message is coming forward. And it's in the near future. And this communication is actually going to help wipe away some of those old feelings. Because you've got five of swords and five of cups. And it's followed by the nine of cups. Okay. So five of swords means you've been in your head. There's been conflict. There's been, you know, um, just... A lot of that, a lot of change in that area, a lot of cycles with that. Five of Cups is, you know, all of these cups that are dumped out, but there's still one that's available, okay? Um, but you've been looking at the cup and the energy that has left, okay? And what they're showing is, in the near future, this offer that's coming in and it might be multiple offers I feel like Aries there's like a change of luck because the expect miracles card I feel like it might be all at once okay it's kind of like boom 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 it's like housing uh, relationship and um, and job good health it's like what you've been wanting to achieve is kind of like everything's coming in at once because the nine of cups is the wish fulfilled card Okay, this is the wishes um, fulfilled, the treasure, the desires of your heart, okay, and it's really going to make you feel like the sun is shining right from your heart center, and it truly is a real treasure there, okay? Let's see um, the outcome for Aries. That's a beautiful outcome. So what they're saying is... Um, you know, let go of the past and let go of that stinking thinking um, because this is very good. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so the outcome's the chariot. This is the card of victory and it's the card of balancing. Okay, balancing the uh, light and dark aspects. 
This is the card of Cancer, if that means anything uh, to you. Some people like to know the signs here. Um, and so this is basically saying that you're going to have a victory. And the chariot is swift movement. So I do feel like this is absolutely a miracle coming in where you don't see the how just yet or if you've just started these things um it's like for those of you that are feeling like you need this miracle we have the chariot coming in this is swift swift movement swift victory swift change of events this cycle has ended and you are coming into this beautiful change of events here this is beautiful, Aries. Uh, one more for outcome. Yeah, the hanged man. Okay, so this is card of Pisces. So you could have a Pisces coming in or Cancer. So we have water here a lot. Um, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is Cancer. This is Pisces. Okay, and so the hanged man is showing that you are indeed going to find that new perspective. Okay, the runes here on this card are um she's reaching for the breakthrough in partnership okay so by changing the perspective there's the breakthrough in partnership okay we have what you've gone through is separation disruption okay you've come back to yourself you've entered through a gateway through the initiation and you're on your journey and that journey is leading to a breakthrough in partnership okay so these are the runes but they go in kind of the circle here all right and so this is your outcome a whole change perspective i feel like your life is going to look so much different by the end of april <laughs> and they said one more card and it's the two of cups so for those of you looking for love romance this is um this is not just an offer but this is like the honeymoon phase this is the two people together and this relationship you each fill each other's cup equally okay where this past relationship or this past situation was all backwards super selfish super manipulative okay this is partnership of the um best kind this is this is the two together this offer here is really going to make your heart sing okay and what spirit's saying is even if it's a job that you're looking for or if you're um moving into entrepreneurship um the partnership that you choose here the offer that comes forward is going to be someone that you can really trust and that you really love and i feel like for some of you you're looking at things from a completely different perspective than before yeah, um, we have five of wands reversed, so it's going to help you to end um, conflict and competition. Um, no more is this that manipulative energy. This is now um, you being treated like the king and queen that you are, <laughs> regardless of your gender. You know, I will say god goddess that you are because it's even more than the king and queen. And then we have the sun as your final outcome. The sun is the best card in the deck. So April is going to be beautiful for you. You have unexpected miracles coming in. You have unexpected big change in offers that um, you didn't think it could get this good. This is the sun shining after the storm. And it's like, like golden touch. You know, everything that you... Um, touch turns to gold. It's just a beautiful, beautiful energy, Aries. You're really feeling into your own self. And the advice from spirit is simplicity. Okay. Life is getting so much easier for you. And they're saying, just be simple with it. Okay. Your only advice from spirit here, um, there's not really any doing to be done, Aries. This is about miracles, about um, your rewards coming to you and living life simply. So month of April, enjoy yourself, enjoy your birthday, enjoy, um, your new energies coming in because when we have our solar return, there's new energies coming in. So it's really going to feel like a whole new life unfolding for you, um, month of April. So by the end of the month, you're going to be in this sunshine card. Okay. And that comes from living very simply, allowing yourself to just float like a feather and allow those um, 
kind of old energies to dissipate because you're really on a new path Aries so wonderful 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 I'm very very happy for you this is beautiful energy it's it's a complete 180 okay so your life's going to look much better by the end of April in fact um, you're gonna be feeling quite good especially with that sunshine card as the outcome so thank you thank you thank you and until next time Aloha